All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, Dawn of the Aspects, Chapter 12, Koros is going to meet Galakrond, and I'm sure it'll work out great. So let's go! With the utmost caution and super sneakiness, Malagos made his way towards the rumbling sound of Galakrond, and soon he could hear another voice as well, the voice of Koros. Many will be there, all waiting like grazers to be eaten. So very many. Galakrond's voice was booming. It reverberated around the entire region, and Malagos' ears still kind of hurt anyway, on account of recently being slap bang in the middle of several cave collapses. We will feast well. We will grow strong. Malagos poked his head out to check just exactly how outnumbered he was. Although Koros had probably assumed he was now dead, and buried under tons of rubble, the asshole had still arranged his followers as lookouts, just in case. Luckily, none of them were looking in Malagos' direction. Kallak's host also took this as another opportunity to examine the various protuberances pockmarking Galakron's skin. He'd never been this close to the behemoth, after all. Same as before, he looked in horror at the full limbs and flapping wings dangling from the beast's body. But even more disturbing than that were the eyes, each acting as if it were individual and not part of the same beast. And one of the nearest turned its gaze towards Malagos, so he quickly ducked back below cover. There was no outcry from Galakron though, so it was nothing to worry about. Great Galakron will lead us. Great Galakron will rule all. Where will they gather? The Jagged Valley. Soon. Galakron grinned slyly. He obviously knew of that place already. Hunted there when I was small. When I was nothing. The female in Koros' group piped up. But you are great now. All the others hissed in agreement. Great I am. The giant beast then studied Koros. You would be great too. Not as great as Galakrond. No. Never so great as me. There can be only one. Me. One of Koros' lookouts looked extremely unsettled by those words. He suddenly took to the sky, and Malagos was pretty convinced he'd been discovered. However, the lookout just continued flying off, higher and higher. He was cheesing it. Galakron roared and rose into the air, causing some of the other members of Koros' band to try and leg it as well. But they had no chance. Galakrond caught up to all three of them, and swallowed them whole. At this point, Koros and the female decided they didn't particularly want to stick around anymore. They took flight, heading over the spot where Malagos hid, but in their haste, they didn't notice him at all. He was currently lay down flat on the ground again, because that's what he does in these situations, and apparently it makes him invisible, because Galakron flew overhead and didn't see him either. The fact that the behemoth had so easily taken his other prey meant that Koros and the female didn't get much of a head start. With every flap of his wings, the gap between him and them was closing. Without warning, Koros rammed his female companion in the side, causing her to lose control and slow down. He's sacrificing her for his own hide! Kallik was stunned by this betrayal. I don't quite know why though. Koros has literally been a twat this entire series. The female righted herself just in time to see Galakrond was now right in front of her. In her desperation, she exhaled. But her elemental breath attack was utterly useless against a foe of this size. So she dared, and despite Koros' treachery, he again hadn't really put enough distance between himself and his pursuer. In what seems like madness to both Malagos and Kallik, Koros abruptly turned around dived down, and punched Galakrond in the neck. Galakrond reared back. The neck punch hadn't hurt him, not even slightly. He was just a little bit surprised, and Koros used that surprise to try and cheese it again, this time diving down and flying low, whilst maintaining his tremendous velocity. But eventually, despite Koros' surprising neck punch and subsequent cunning, it was all worth absolute jack shit. A rise in the land caused Koros to overestimate his path, and his momentum sent him high above the security of the ground allowing the Leviathan to swallow him whole. The abruptness of Koros' demise didn't really affect Malagos at all. The jerk deserved it. Kallik could sense all his hosts really cared about at the moment was whether or not Galakrond was going to notice him, and then swallow him whole. Fortunately, he didn't. He landed in a vast plain off in the distance, settled his head on the ground, and then bloody fell asleep. Malagos took this opportunity to get out of dodge. He needed to be smart and quick about it. Who knows how long Galakrond sleeps for, or how light a sleeper he is. So the Blue used his rival's tactics and kept low, and flew as fast as he could. Even when the rumble of Galakron's snoring faded into the distance, Malagos did not slow down. Kallik scanned Malagos' thoughts and saw the Blue had a fresh new concern now. Although Koros had paid for his betrayals, he had still managed to perform one final misdeed. Galakron now knew where Talonixa and the others gathered, which changed things somewhat. Although Malagos had previously believed Talonixa's plan to attack was suicidal, it was now pretty much the only chance they had. I mean, they could just move to a different valley, but what if? Malagos needed to warn Talonixa before Galakron finished his power nap, and if he could make Talonixa listen, then there was still hope. A rumbling sound interrupted that thought. 
Malagos crapped his pants before realising it had actually just been thunder this time, but the thunder was followed by rain, and that wasn't good. Rain might wake Galakrond prematurely. But, bad news everyone, the world turned upside down once again. Kallik was being torn back to the present, and as much as he struggled and really wanted to stay in this vision, Malagos and the past vanished, and he awoke back in the Nexus. And we're leaving it there! Well, R.I.P. Koros, I guess. No, you know what? I'm glad he's dead. Screw that guy. Obviously, we're back with Kalek in the next video, and as much as I'd love to tell you we're going to get some wonderful new revelation, um, we're not. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying the book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!